Okay, today I'm going to try something a little bit different. I ordered some extra parts for my Sima X5C. And uh, I decided just to, for fun, just to try to make my own quadcopter. The motherboard basically does everything you need it to do. So basically, once you make one quadcopter or whatever, you can make it out of anything. You see YouTube videos of some guy using a cat carcass or whatever. Uh, some guy did a Star Wars thing. So once you get comfortable and relying on just a single motherboard to do everything for you for the gyro to keep it uh, up in the air properly, you can make it any way you want. So uh, I haven't actually tried this yet, so I'm going to try filming it. I might pause it here and there. So I got most of my parts here I need. Uh, I actually did order extra parts anyways. So um, when you order these motors, you can order the more expensive ones and it comes with the little gear on it not sure if you can see that um, and then after that you can order cheaper ones and they just don't come with the gears it's actually for a different quadcopter uh, I just end up taking off the gears and putting them on these motors there's also a way I found out that you can actually replace the brushes too with even cheaper ones that cost like 20 cents but that's kind of a hassle anyways let's get into this little project here so basically this is everything you need and a cutter I figure. Um, my goal is to use this camera as the center. So this will be here, the motherboard will be glued on underneath somehow, and then also the battery. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep this plastic piece yet. The reason why I might use it is because it actually keeps it straight. Okay, so basically your four blades you need. I ordered four of these arms which cost about, I believe, $4. The motherboard cost about $7. The motors cost about $3. So basically, you can get a whole quadcopter for $14. Okay, so let's get this. So the paper here. My idea is to make a perfect square so I got something to work with. I'm also using this for the lines. Not the best cutter in the world, but whatever. Okay. And uh, before I made this video, I noticed these two little tabs on the uh, bottom plate as well. This almost gives me center of the camera. So what I decided to do as well is make another line here. So now I'm gonna center the camera on the paper. And the hangers. I'm using this for the plastic. So basically, this is where I'll probably be pausing it quite often. So my, the reason why I made the lines is so I can line it up here. I have no idea if this marker works. Okay, it does. So I'm going to mark it there. And hopefully you can see it on the camera. I'll mark it there. So this will be my first cut. So... Might be able to get two here. So I'll use that one as well. Okay, so I'm going to pause it. I'll cut it. And uh, I'll do the same with this one too. So basically, it'll be about here. About here. here. Okay, so I'll pause it and I'll come back. Okay, so I'm back from cutting. I got my hot glue gun ready. I got these pieces cut here. There should actually be two of them the same and two, well, two different sizes. It was a little off, but whatever. Okay, so attaching it to these guys here. I was going to actually put this inside a drill 
to hold a piece of sandpaper and as the drill is going, turning this, making it smaller so then I could actually put it right inside. But I decided just to go underneath and I'm going to glue it there. Or actually I'm going to glue it on this side because this would be the underneath part. I could go on a side, but I have a feeling it might shift the camera over and I'm not sure which way to shift the camera because it'll actually, if I ended up putting this on this side, it shifts over all the propellers just attached, so I think the camera would have to be shifted to keep it true. So for now, I'm just going to keep it like this. Um, so for some reason, the camera stopped there. So I'm going to hot glue this guy into place as well, just on the paper for now. Okay, so that's fine for now. So now I can glue these guys in, hopefully. So hopefully it stays pretty straight. That's the only thing I'm worried about. But it is hot glue, so if you mess up, you can always just take it back off and put it on again. Oh, that's kind of dumb. That should be okay. Okay, so um, I'll do another one. I can always fast forward this part or just skip over it. I don't think you have to watch me doing each one of them. Okay, so I got all the uh, arms put together. So I think I'll jump to the motherboard now, solder on the wires. That's the other thing I forgot to mention is obviously you need a soldering gun to solder on the wires for the motors and the camera wires as well. Uh, got hot glue all over the place here. On here you'll also notice I have bare wires. That was again for another project. I was putting this on a CX-20. Uh, I'll end up just cutting those wires for this project here just to see what happens. Okay, so um, yeah, well we can see what these arms look like now anyways. Alright, my phone kept on crashing or running out of memory so I had to pause it for again and kind of jump back to this video. But once it was uh, cleaning up space and stuff, I came to some conclusions here. So with the motor, so if I place the motor on top of the uh, camera for now, not how it's going to, I'll probably glue it on the bottom after, obviously. But anyways, my arms are too long. So I'm going to have to mark them. And cut them. Because, or I can attach more wires, but for simplicity I'm just going to... Let's see. So basically I'll have to remark all the arms.
This time hopefully I can cut them on an angle too. They might glue better. Still not exactly sure if uh, the wire length will be long enough. I'm hoping it is. I might actually have to lift the camera up as well because you can see with it being level it's getting pretty close. So I'm going to pause it, cut them, and jump back in once again. I think I got them all. Yep. Okay, back again from cutting. This camera keeps uh, cutting out on me. So I cut all my things down a little bit shorter. I'm kind of worried I might actually still be too short. So I've decided to skip up ahead and uh, I am going to solder the motors now instead of gluing these arms. Just to make sure I have enough length. So the board with the plug in the back, that's obviously that's going to be the back, and where the antenna is, that's facing forward. So with your arms on it like that, you want to have the board facing this way. But again, I think I'm jumping ahead, so now I'll solder the motors on. So basically, you have the four colors: red, blue, black, and white. Uh, the reds are positive and the whites are positive. Blue is ground and the black is ground. So on the board it's a minus symbol and a plus symbol for negative and positive. Um, didn't bring my alligator clips out so hopefully this solder's on. So I just know already that the blue one goes this way. The blue goes on these two corners and the whites on those two corners. If uh, you're working with a new board and you get confused, it's not a big deal. Just switch them around. Just make sure you have a red and a red, just the, the separate colors on each side type thing. So. so again, I'm probably gonna fast forward this part. Okay, so I got these boards on, so I may as well put the arms on. So now I kind of forget which ones are which. So I believe the longer ones go in the back. So my cutting is just, yeah, we'll pretend those are right. Okay, so the motors. Oh yeah, I gotta make sure I have the right angle. So after I'm done, I'll put a piece of hot glue right here too to stop the motor from coming back up. Like I said, I'm doing this on the fly as well, so things don't usually go as planned when you never do something first before you make a video. It's kind of kind of stupid, but I didn't really want to do this project twice. I just wanted to do it once for fun and uh, see how it goes. Okay, so those are my arms. I'm gonna have to remove the hot glue gun off the paper. So basically what I wanna see if it'll reach. So, the board in the middle, that's good. That's good. I believe they're all actually, well this one's a little tight, but I'm wrapping it around once. 
That should actually be perfect. So now, the fun part. I don't know if I should glue that board down for now. Just keep it centered. This is going to get a little messy now. So yeah, it's about right. This is pointing up a bit. That's all right. So I think I'll waste some time and glue the board down on the paper as well. Hopefully it stays in place. I don't want to put too much glue. That seems to be recording. Okay, so now it's going to be all bouncy now. So it's kind of. Well, that hot glue's been in there for too long. So I'm making sure also I'm lining up this with the middle line here to make sure it's pretty straight. Hot glue's a little warm, so I'm probably gonna have to fast forward this because it's gonna take a while. That's set. Making sure the camera's straight. Hello. Somebody has opened your front gate. Okay, I'm gonna pause it because somebody's at my door again. Okay, I muted my front door sensors so that doesn't become annoying. There's a bunch of kids coming in and out and it kept on going off. Okay, so I think the glue settled enough now. And uh, I'll hot glue these arms in. Hopefully that works. This glue gun's a little cheap. I think the glue's just too hot. It's not grabbing no more. Okay. I want this camera pointing down. So it might have to be up a bit. So again, I'm going to be probably fast forwarding these. Moving it back a bit because I noticed I wasn't on the line right. If your hot glue is too hot, then it takes too long to uh, kick. I'll be stuck here holding it forever. So there'll be a lot of fast forwarding here, I'm sure. I should probably just wait till that one completely dries. And a bonus of this video is if it doesn't work, I'll just never post it. Really, I should have lifted up the camera probably about half an inch. Then these arms would glue nicely onto the side of the uh, camera instead of being raised a bit. <laughs> 